Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about Lesson 29, Part 2, Divisibility Rules for 3, 6, and 9. So please copy down the following divisibility rules. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and 3. And a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of numbers. Um, first, we want to know which of these numbers is divisible by 3, by 6, and by 9. So let's start with A, 456. I want to know if it's divisible by 3, if it's divisible by 6, and it's divisible by 9. So I have to run all three tests. So if it's divisible by 3, I'm going to add up its digits. 4 plus 5 plus 6, which equals 15. If 15 is evenly divisible by 3, then 456 is divisible by 3. And since, yes, 15 is divisible by 3, because 15 divided by 3 equals 5, then it is divisible by 3, or 3 is one of its factors. Okay, so let's talk about 6. If a number is divisible by 6, it has to be divisible by 2 and by 3. Well, since 456 is an even number, I know it's divisible by 2, and I know already that it's divisible by 3, so it does meet both criteria. Divisible, di, can't spell, divisible by 2 and 3, so 6 is also a factor. Now if it's divisible by 9, then the sum of my digits must be divisible by 9. Well, I already know that the sum of my digits 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 15, but 15 is not divisible by 9, so 9 is not a factor. So which of these numbers is divisible by 3, 6, and 9? 456 is not, because it's only divisible by 3 and by 6. So now we have to do the same process with the other numbers. Okay, let's take B, 567. So we're going to add up 5 plus 6 plus 7. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 is divisible by 3, so 3 is a factor. 18 is also divisible by 9, so 9 is a factor, but 6 has to be divisible by 2 and 3. Well, it's divisible by 2, but this ends in a 7. 7 is an odd number, so it is not divisible by 2. So B is not divisible by 6. It's only divisible by 3 and by 9. So we already know that it's not A, it's not B, so let's keep checking, 576, we'll check for 3, 6, and 9, so 5 plus 7 plus 6, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, so it is divisible by 3, 18 is divisible by 9, so let's check for 2, 4 divisible by 6, this is even, so it is divisible by 2, and we already know it's divisible by 3, so it therefore it's divisible by 6. So 3, 6, and 9 are all factors of 576. So, so far it looks like C is our winner, but let's check D just in case they give us 2. So it's not A, not B. We know it's C, but let's check D. Okay, 645. 
six plus four plus five equals 15. So it is divisible by three. It's not divisible by nine though, because 15 is not divisible by nine. And it's not divisible by six because it ends in an odd number, so it's not even. So the answer to example two is C. 576 is divisible by three, by six, and by nine. So for problems J through O, you need to determine which numbers uh, the number is divisible by, by. Is it divisible by three? Is it divisible by six? Is it divisible by nine? Is it divisible by just one or two of those? Or none of them? Okay, that's it. After lesson practice, and I'll see you in the morning.